The National Agency for Food and Drug Administration and Control, NAPDAG, has advised Nigerians not to use non-medical face masks, saying it does not prevent the spread of COVID-19. The agency made the clarification on its official Twitter page following the local production of different customized non-medical face masks by Nigerians. In a statement, the agency said, if wearer can put off a flame from a cigarette lighter that is placed in front of the wearer, the mask is protective enough. The Director General National Agency for Food and Drug Administration and Control, Professor Mojishola Adeye, joins us via Skype. Thank you very much. Good morning. Good morning. It's good to be here. Thank you. Good to have you. So you've advised against the use of certain kinds of face masks. Uh, can you expand shade on this and some of your findings in this regard? Actually, yes. Um, you mentioned that uh, NAPDAC has announced not to use uh, non-medical uh, face masks. No, we did not do that. We said that uh, non-medical face masks are for the masses, are for you and I. The medical face masks are for healthcare workers. However, for non-medical, we have to know the type of material that face mask is made up of, like an Ankara or any uh, synthetic material uh, ma uh, face mask. Non-medical face masks are for the general populace. The medical face masks are for the healthcare workers because there is a shortage of the medical face mask. So we, the general population, should not be consuming that. For non-medical face mask, the material is very important. And that is where NAVDAC is very particular uh, or is, is very concerned about. Uh, because if you use, let's say, a very thin Ankara for face mask, it is, first of all, it may not protect, and it may give a false sense of protection. Uh, but if it is thick enough, then it may protect. That is where the thickness of the material, the type of material uh, comes in. What NAVDAC is advising the public is to know that the mat or to ensure that the material they are using or that they are buying, you know, the, the, the face masks they are buying have enough thickness. Uh, you mentioned that, uh, you know, there was a demonstration of a cigarette lighter being put in front of uh, the user. If the user can put off the flame, then the face mask is not thick enough. If the user cannot put up to put off the flame, then the face mask is protective enough for the general populace. So that is what we are advising the public. Uh, that is what we, uh, as a, an organization, will be sourcing for our own use, uh, because now the lockdown is going to be is lifted from next week, uh, and a segment of our staff will be coming in. We're going to be providing them uh, the general non-medical face masks. All right. There are reports about the rush uh, to get uh, malaria drugs and chloroquine and abuse of these uh, drugs in the uh, belief, the mistaken belief, um, that it will treat uh, coronavirus. Have you observed this? And um, what clarification can you make? OK, yes. Uh, chloroquine. Uh was found in clinical trial treatment setting, meaning in the hospital or a research facility, uh, that it can work or it is effective for treating coronavirus. This has been published in many reputable journals or several reputable journals, uh, China, uh, France, U.S. and, you know, the list goes on. Uh, but that doesn't mean that anybody can just go and buy chloroquine and use. If somebody feels that he or she has been exposed to uh, 
another person with COVID, uh, that person should contact the medical doctor for advice. Uh, Lagos State Ministry of Health uh, is running, is going to start running a clinical trial treatment. Uh, actually, they have already started, but they want, they've already designed a clinical trial to know the effectiveness of chloroquine on COVID patients. Uh, so uh, our own stand as a, an agency is to encourage clinical trial uh, on chloroquine, and that is exactly what we are doing. Okay, so your agency recently approved a clinical trial of same chloroquine. What's the state of that trial, and how soon should Nigerians expect some results? That's a very good uh, question. Uh, this is being done by very renowned and sound uh, scientists. Uh, there are few things that they are trying to uh, put in place. And I believe that the clinical trial should start maybe within the next week, um, maximum two weeks. And uh, maybe after that, depending if everything goes well, in six weeks, or so, they, they should have some data, but uh, it will depend on when they start and what are the different uh, uh, clinical setting parameters that will influence how fast they can go. Are you aware of any ongoing research at the moment as regards uh, getting a vaccine for COVID-19 like other countries seem to be doing? Actually, uh, yes. Um, NAVDAC is a regulatory agency, and it belongs to, uh, I, actually, I represent uh, the African Medicine Regulatory Harmonization on a group, a global group called International Coalition of Medicine Regulatory Authorities. And there's many, I would say many, <laughs> Uh, studies going on right now for back to, to get a vaccine uh, to work. So the, the answer is yes, there are, there are a lot of researches take, going on all over the world. Uh, I understand that one is already, they have, they've already started testing uh, uh, people in UK and in the US. Uh, the data, you know, will be published uh, as soon as they keep compiling them. Okay, but I'm, as, I'm actually as... looking at Nigeria. Do we have anyone in Nigeria? I might have missed if you mentioned it. No, that's a good question. Actually, we don't. There are, there are, are claims, maybe a couple, no, it's one or two, actually, uh, claims that they have a vaccine that can treat COVID, but... Anybody who has a promising uh, medicine, herbal medicine or whatever, if that person has not come through NAVDAC uh, for clinical trial protocol review or with NREC, NREC is the National Research Health Committee, uh, that claim cannot be substantiated because you want, if you, if you are having a claim, it has to be as a result of a, of a well-designed clinical trial protocol. And that is where the Nigerian Herbal Medicine Product Committee that was formed by NAVDAC last year, that's where we come in. We are trying to bring researchers and practitioners together. We're going to be having a meeting, a, a, a Zoom meeting uh, very soon uh, to know about these potentials and then to encourage clinical trials. Without clinical trials, there's no claim that can be substantiated. So I, I presume from your submission that the calls for a herbal alternative for COVID-19 is being explored. It is very, yes, very much so. It is being explored, yes. All right, thank you very much for your thoughts on the news, ma'am. Thank you so much. It's good to be here, thank you.